Hello everyone and welcome, Dom here and in this video I'm going to show you and play for you Mimi Page Light and Shadow, a brand new library for Halion, Halion Sonic and Halion Sonic SE from our friends at Soundiron. From angelic voices to haunting soundscapes, Mimi's otherworldly vocal style effortlessly fuses ambient, dream pop, EDM and cinematic vocal styles. This library for Halion by Soundiron includes a full selection of chromatic articulations, melodic phrases and exquisitely sound design cinematic effects, pads and atmospheric elements. In this video I'm going to try and play as much as possible from all the presets but I want to start with something that Sound Iron know how to do very well especially for vocal libraries and this is the legato patches. So I'm going to start with the legato preset. This is Mimi Page Light and Shadow and this is the Ah True Legato. So I'm going to use this preset to play for you a theme that I've composed for a film. I have prepared some instruments from Iconica here, but I'm going to play Mimi Page in real time. Let's do this. So as you can hear, beautifully expressive, really nice and smooth legatos. Let me play some of the other vowels. This is the R. Uh. Let's try the E. And you can even activate the vibrato as you can see here. I've assigned this to one of the controllers that I have here. Let's try the bouche for me. Beautiful. And the ooze. And it goes without saying that if you want to reduce the reverb, you can just turn it down. If you want a drier sound. Now let me play for you the sustains. The sustains have different flavors. We have light and shadow. And we also have some breaths there. So let's start with the as the light. And we have quite a few controls, of course, we can change the attack if we want to turn this into more of a pad-like sound. Let's add the vibrato as well. The swell also gives us a very nice expression. Uh, 
And if we activate the legato, then we can control the bend as well. Check it out. Another very interesting setting is the auto pan. If you activate this, then the voices will be spread left and right on your speakers. Which gives you a very nice three-dimensional effect. Now let's try the other vowels. O's. And let's go to the shadow side of this library. You will see what I'm talking about. You know, this is really eerie. It has such a nice haunting quality to it. So, so fragile as well. Beautiful. Next. Love it. And let's try the breaths now. Really nice selection of breaths. And these are really useful if you want to create realistic vocal mock-ups because it helps when you add a little bit of a breath sound between different phrases. So these are really useful. Now let's try the staccatos. So good. Let's try the shadow side. This is one of my favorites, by the way. Nice. No. 
And yes. Yes, 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 yes. And in the very low registers, it becomes a whisper. Yes, 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 yes. Love it. Let's move on to another type of preset. That's the ethereal dreamscapes. And this is the light version, okay? So let's have a listen and see how it sounds. And there are quite a few ways to customize this sound. First of all, we have two layers for this preset. So we have layer one and layer two. So I can activate layer two and I can select the layers like this. So let's stick with layer one for now. I'm going to go for layer one and I can change the category from angelic to mystical and then also change the sound. So I can go to, for example, let's say a harmony with sus4. Let's try mystical. Or maybe I can add a hey harmony sus4. Now if I go to layer 2, I can activate it and then I can cross fade between these two layers. So for example, I can go to layer 2 and select this sound and now I can blend between them. Of course if I want to, I can assign this to a CC controller. I can even activate a sub synth. And for the sub synth layer, we have quite a few options again sine wave, sawtooth, square, triangle. Let's try the sine wave first. Maybe the square. course control the filter so it's very very customizable now let me show you something else I want to show you the LFO section here so here I can control quite a few things with the LFO when I activate it I can select the shape I can select the time the intensity the fading and I can target it for example to volume Let's try and control the pitch. And then we have the ARP section. Again, here we can do quite a few things. So I can create an ARP and activate it. Really sounds nice with the sub synth. And here we have all the regular controls. So we have swing, we have duration, we have the direction up, down, we can have chords, and we can change the bit resolution and the number of steps for the ARP. So I can make it just three steps or I can increase the number of steps. And if we go to the filter section, I can activate my filter here. And there are many ways that you can control your filter. You can use velocity for the frequency, you can use velocity for the resonance, or I can use graph frequency to control my filters. So this becomes like a step filter sequencer. Now let me play for you the Ambiences preset. And again, same story, we can change the category, we can go from airy... ...to bassy...
These are some really nice drones here. Let's try the coral. Shadow. Nice and glistening, gritty. And you can see that every category has so many different sounds. Vocals. Let's try the warm as well. Now let me show you one of the special presets that we have in Mimi page and this is the phrases presets. Now with the phrases presets you can trigger vocal phrases that if you want they can also be synced to the tempo of your track but you can also create a step sequencer of different phrases so you can create an entire song just by using the sequencer that we have here. Before I get into the sequencer though let me play some of the phrases for you. So as you can see we have a layout like this we have the blue keys that trigger different phrases and the yellow keys trigger breaths and the red key right here will trigger the sequencer. So let me show you how they sound. Let's try the angelic 100 bpm phrases. see how much of a realism these breaths add when you add them between your phrases. Let's try some more phrases. As you can see, we have so many of them here. I'm going to play a few of them. Let's try the Elvish. Beautiful, really dreamy. If you're making fantasy music, these will come in handy. Let's try the sad ones. And I'm going to use this one 
to play some phrases over the track that I've just created. So I'm going to mute the legato part that I played and I'm going to start creating a sequence now. So in order to do this, I can audition the phrases first. Okay, for example, I can play the track. So my first step, I want it to be this key. I can just play it and you will see that it gets assigned. Let's go to the second one and assign this one. And let's go to the third one and assign this one and maybe here. And let's move on to the next one. This one. This one. And let's add one more. And as you can see, the only thing I have to do is click this one, click to set, and then just play the note on my keyboard and it will work straight away. So now I have a sequence here and I can add more steps if I want to and I can choose the direction here so I might want to have it as a loop, as a one shot or have it played backwards and I can select if the next note is going to sing to the next beat or the next bar. Now when I play the orange key, check what happens. They just play in sequence. But in this case, what I'm going to do is I'm going to sync it to my track. So I'm going to select sync and now I'm going to hit the orange key and that's all I have to do. All the phrases will play one after the other in sequence. Let's do this. I'm only going to hit the orange key. So as you can see, I can create an entire track very, very easily just by using the step sequencer. It's really, really fast. And if you want, you can click on this icon and save your sequencer preset. So there you go. This is Mimi Page, Light and Shadow. I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you make some great music with the library. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.